All right, guys. So technically, um, we're using this thick cut bacon. I do not recommend using this because uh, you don't get as many pieces. But we're just using what we had, and we only had about five or six pieces of bacon, the stick cut stuff. <clears throat> so all of them aren't going to be covered in bacon, but that's fine. And also, one thing that I like to do is I like to take a toothpick and close this shut, but we don't have any toothpicks either right now. So we're just going to make do with what we have. We're going to set these on there like this. Hopefully everything turns out just fine. Um, we'll get these on there. We'll sprinkle them with a little lemon pepper. And uh, we're just going to watch these really closely to make sure that nothing burns. And by the time this bacon cooks, the pheasant will be done. So as soon as the bacon done, is done, the pheasant will be done and then we'll be able to eat. But we'll try, I'll have Boston try some plain, and I'll have him try some of this that's wrapped in this bacon. And I know he'll like this stuff that's wrapped in bacon the best. Because everything wrapped in bacon. <laughs> Alright guys, um, so, we have these bacon. on there. Does it have the blood on it? Yeah. I'll just rip that off. That's fine. Okay. So uh, we'll sprinkle these with a little lemon pepper and then we'll come back. <laughs> 